Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to read a text file in parallel. We are going to use preview video's example to create two threads and uh, read a 20,000 record text file into parallel threads. We are going to start from previous video's example. We make a copy my thread file.cpp to my thread read file. So the .cpp. And then we start make adjust these new files. So we, for in order to save in the typing time, we make some copy paste. So the first of all, we starting to make it right. We have to define something. We define the macro called max thread. We define it as two. So we want to create a two thread. And second one, we want to define the, the parameter when we pass the thread function so we pass two parameters one called the integer we call the thread id tid another one we're going to pass the file name which file name come from command line as an argument and we have to pass to the function and now we are going to start to create our thread function so we call the void we void star we call our function called the read file and uh, this function we have to pass void t parameter so thread parameter and uh, in order to uh, we have uh, decoding the parameter so this uh, so struct a thread id we create a pointer mdata on this one and this mdata uh, will equal t parameter and uh, because this is a pass is a wide pointer and uh, we have to recasting with uh, our structure thread parameter pointer so now we getting our parameter passed to the M data. So then we started making adjustment. We move our reading file, this two line cutting, we paste here because this is a variable we're going to reading file. And here from the line 34 to line 49 is the function loop we are going to open file and read the file so 34 to okay so 34 to 49 we cut and uh, we move to our function we paste here inside the reading file function and uh, we also have to pt So after function finished, we have to use a piece thread exit to exit the function. Not like a normal function call, we get a return because it was called through thread. So here we have to adjust because we are not from argument got a file name anymore. We're going to get a file name from M date T file. This is we got the name, and we open file. We start in zero. We read in line, and uh, we don't use this one. And uh, we have to make another thing. We have to define the initial position, and the initial position. Okay, I N I T P O S should equal M date. TID time 10,000 time 27. 
So why? Because uh, each record, we know we have 27 record uh, character in each line. And uh, if uh, each thread, we have to pass 10,000 from next thousand because the first we, here we have two thread. The first thread is zero. So we start from beginning of uh, initial position in zero. We start up from beginning of the file. Second thread, thread ID is one. So we have to skip the 10,000 record to read from the 10,001 record to the next. So here, so here we have to my file. After we open the file, we have to use a seek G method. We skip the initial position and uh, we counting from the beginning of the file. So each thread is reading their own record. Here, the loop, we have to add another condition. If I have to less than 10,000. So we, each loop, we don't read 20,000, we only read 10,000. So now we have to print the first line and the last line is 10,000. Here we make another thing to THREAD. ID. So we might we put the thread ID in front of line so we know which line we are going to which thread we printed out and then we close now we have to adjust our main function so in, in order to save time keep typing time we just make a copy paste for from our example one two three four four copy and then we go here to paste. So we're going to declare four variables. One is called a P thread T type, we call the thread. And the second is our thread parameter, which we're going to pass our function. And the two integer for the loop. So now we, after that, we have to create a loop for J equals zero, J less, uh, Max thread J plus plus. And uh, in this uh, loop, we're going to making copy paste two. You see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight line copy. And uh, we paste here. Okay. So what we have here? First, we set up a parameter, which we're going to pass thread ID, which is equal to J, J is zero, one. And uh, we also need to copy the T file name, which we copy from the argument one. And this line is the memory set. Before we making copy, memory copy, we did set up memory, and then we use a p thread create function to create our thread. This function need four parameter. First, need the reference of p thread t, which we create here, the reference of thread, which we create, and the second parameter is the attribute. But this time we put the noun. We pick up the default and the third parameter is our function we call the read file and the fourth parameter is the reference our argument parameter which we're going to pass a read file and uh, of course if RC return code is wrong we just print out and uh, unable to create a thread and uh, now we one thing here So we have to copy this line to here and uh, copy. 
copy, paste, and uh, because we are not using return, we use a p thread exit, even for the main function, and uh, looks uh, everything's okay. Now we save, and uh, we try to make. Oh, looks like we compiles okay. Now let's see what we have. We got our executable and we run with a permit example txt test file. So we can see we have two threads thread zero starting reading file is 001 line and the end file is 10,000 and thread one first line is 10,001, last line is 2,000. Let's try again. Let's look and see. Thread 1 starting with uh, 10,001, start, thread 0 start with 001. Thread 1 finish with uh, 20,000, thread 0 finish with 10,000. So Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hope it's enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback.